Good morning, friends. I hope you are having a wonderful Thursday. Hopefully our air conditioning will be fixed today. We had our other electrical issue um, mostly solved yesterday. <laughs> uh, just the final fixes need to happen today. So it's going great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, I am making my bring back samples. I mean, they've got, they've got them on my desk. Um, so right now I'm just separating them into groups. Um, yesterday kind of like went by in a real hurry because I had so much going on and it feels like chaos in my brain trying to figure out what actually happened yesterday. Do you guys ever feel like that? I'm sure you do because it's like not just a me thing, <laughs> but saying it out loud, uh, helps. So today is May 25th. We are on day 25 of our 90 day goal challenge, May 25. It is Thursday. I already said that I'm writing these things down so I can keep track because it was awesome. We started on, uh, you know, May 1st, but once we get past day 30, um, well really past day 31, keeping track of the, the number, the day number we're on and the day of the week, it becomes a little wild. So Today, we have a fun prompt that I am actually struggling with. Let me share what the prompt is today. So if you have ideas or if you know immediately, I would love to hear uh, what yours is. But today is an engagement post to build engagement conversation, uh, to tell a story too. So what is the worst piece of advice you ever got? That's the hook, the worst piece of advice I ever got. So the goal with this one is share the advice you got and why it was so bad relevant to you. Did you listen? What happened if you did or didn't? Um, and then what advice would you give someone now instead of that awful advice that you got? Call to action is, you know, share with me in the comments the worst piece of advice someone ever gave you. And you can share a graphic or a photo of you from that season. Uh, whenever the bad advice was given or something that relates to the story as you tell it. And if you're unsure how to tell stories, if you have not had a chance yet to listen to Kendra Hall's audiobooks or to read, to pick up and read her books, she is a storyteller for a living. She is a motivational speaker, keynote speaker. We've uh, actually had the opportunity to hear her twice at Sensi events. One was our first virtual reunion or the second one, second virtual First, anyway, at a virtual reunion. And then uh, leadership in Mexico this last year, this year, January. She's adorable. And she just is so engaging and hooks you from the beginning with her stories. So if you're wondering, how the heck can I tell a good story? Listen to her. One of her books is called Stories That Stick. And she kind of takes you through the whole process of what it takes to, to have a good story. Um, so figure out what, at what point the worst piece of advice someone ever gave you was and tell a story around that. I'm having issues with it because, um, I don't remember bad advice that people gave me and it's not that I didn't do anything about it at the time. It's not that I didn't, you know, act on it or whatever, but I just have a hard time remembering details like that. So I'm going to have to sit and think about this one. Pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, this is just going to be me today. Just thinking about the worst piece of advice. I'm going to ask my husband too. Like, Hey, have people given me crappy advice that you've heard? <laughs> Uh, and maybe it's just that I don't remember things from that long ago. I don't know, but I would love to hear if you remember worst piece of advice. And if you followed it, if you realized it was bad advice, or if you took the advice and then you figured out was it bad advice, because sometimes people, and you know, people don't necessarily give us advice, bad advice maliciously. Um, sometimes they really think it's good advice that they're giving. And so, and maybe 
maybe my issue too is um like I take what people say with a grain of salt and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway uh so maybe I realize it's bad advice and just like forget about it immediately I don't know I'm gonna have to think about it so that's what if it's like a restaurant like eating at a specific restaurant eating at what a if it's like eating at a specific restaurant <laughs> That could be a good one. And see, I think my mind is just stuck on like personal advice, but something like eating at a bad restaurant, that's not a bad one. Eating at a restaurant, um, what else? Type of shoes to wear, clothes, recipes. No show socks. If someone tells me to get good no-show socks and then my shoes eat them, that's bad advice. Okay, so maybe this is where my brain is just, I'm, I'm getting too serious, too literal with this. I like the the kind of making it fun. I bet I could think of something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to like stimulate mm -hmm. some thoughts somehow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Loving that. Loving that. Oh, I've got to connect with people on Instagram. Today, it feels like a day that my brain is not wanting to work as it should. So that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. We stayed up later last night than we normally do. And so um, it's just, you know, lack of sleep is probably what's getting me right now. Oh, nope. Don't want the music. Thank you. It's so funny when I look at people's um, profiles, again, if you haven't updated your profile on your social media account, when I look at people's profiles, I'm like, man, I could totally connect with her or, oh, you're a Gemini. I don't know what that means. I'm just a Libra and I don't know astrological things. I just know what I am. <laughs> so I'm like, should I look into astrology? I don't know. Maybe that'll be how I explore today is looking up other Libras. But then oftentimes those meme accounts just show up. So it's not people that you're able to connect with who are sharing their lives. It's just meme accounts. I feel like it's a deep, dark rabbit hole. 100%. <laughs> I don't understand. Full moon in Libra. Somebody created a reel. Oh, this gal does full up astrology stuff. Okay. I don't know that that's for me. <laughs> you know, like my brain has a hard time trying to add more new things. <laughs> We went over to a friend's house last night and they've got um, chickens. 
and have uh, one of their rooms has a window that looks out onto the side yard where the chickens live. And so we were just like sitting there watching them. They were, they would hop up and they would kind of, I don't know, just like hang out next to us. It was really fun. <laughs> and they had really fun names and her kids for mother's day last year, kids and husband made a sign with all the chickens names on them, but they're <laughs> um, there. You can change the order. So they literally change the pecking order. So like whoever is the most dominant, they'll put that chicken at the top at the time. <laughs> like, this is so fun. This is this is the kind of vibe that I am loving. Yep. <laughs> oh. And it's funny because we have, if we ever get chickens, we would put them on our side yard over here. We also have a window that we could do something with. I think we'd have to make it a bigger window though because it's kind of high up. So we wouldn't be able to necessarily just like look out and have them there. But that's a fun idea. We have like the perfect like little fenced in area for like a chicken coop or whatever. It's actually really big too at the lake house. And everybody's like, you should get chickens. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Uh... Although I'd rather get chickens over other things, I will say that. Yeah. I'd rather have a chickens over a dog, even. Well, <laughs> yeah, because, dog. <laughs> I mean, also, the chickens will lay eggs if you like eggs. That's right. True. They give back, you know? Right, right. <laughs> I may or may not be right back. Okay, sounds good. Think of some bad advice while you're doing whatever. Okay. <laughs> and you know, there's always the silly stuff of like, you know, don't rut play in traffic. Uh, don't eat yellow snow. We're not looking for that kind of advice because that's like the don't don't do stupid stuff right and it could also be the negative like hey you should do this or you should not do this eat this don't eat this all kinds of advice really struggling with finding people to connect with today <laughs> maybe I'll set that aside for right now and focus on my other stuff yeah so what I'm doing right now like we talked about yesterday I've got my bring backs um all packaged up in their little containers so right now I'm just sorting them into the sets and yesterday I started sorting a set and I think I started duplicating sense. And so I had to pause and step back. Like, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> oh, so it's, it's a day, you know, it's going to be fine though. 
especially because my air conditioning is going to be fixed today and I feel like that's going to solve all the things. All right, so I need to get these guys out today. And so I'm going to be obviously sending these bring back samples out to people. Um, it is getting hot, so they might end up there a sweaty mess. So I've got to figure out if I'm going to bag them in any special way or just kind of like let them arrive how they will. Um, so I've got to kind of figure that out. I had to go to the post office yesterday. If you don't know, post, post postage rates are increasing again soon. Um, so I stocked up on postcard stamps and the forever stamps and uh, like the, the two ounce non-machinable stamps um, for all the customer mail that I do. So that is, that is fun. That was a fun bill. <laughs> But I'm stocked up for like the next four months. So I just, I really just like having to go to the post office. Although maybe I should use that as an excuse to go talk to other people. I don't know. But what I am doing, I think I told you guys this, with my bring back samples, <clears throat> they are getting their own personal shopping link. And I am sending out, um, there's another leader who made this. And I can share the Canva in our group. She made this cute little, hey, you're getting all these samples. Here's what you do with them. You know, check whether you like them or not. Um, and then send a picture back to me. Share the link with your friends and family. All that. So that's what I am um, sending them with their QR code. So I just need to set up all the links today as well. And I got to figure out exactly what I'm going to do for my club subscribers for next month. I can't decide. Oh, my allergies are nuts today. Excuse me. And if you are doing the social media post, I think I forgot to mention yesterday. Obviously, it was Wax Wednesday. I totally spaced. Um, but today is the thumbs up Thursday throwback things. Thankful Thursday. And this could be a fun one. Maybe you don't have a piece of advice or you can't think of one like I'm struggling to. Maybe just do a throwback Thursday post where you throw back if you have photos of when you first started your Scentsy journey or the first warmer you bought. That could be a fun one um, as an engagement post of like, hey, here was the first Scentsy warmer I ever got or purchased. Um, what was your first Scentsy product? That would be a fun one. Now I want to go back and see if there's photos.
All right. And if you are a uh, part of Nomad Tribe, if you are watching this before our weekly connection this week, don't forget we have special guests talking to us this, today about um, working your business and having a summer, being able to keep your business going, productivity and play. Um, it's going to be great. my gosh, going back to some of my earlier marketing photos is wild. Oh, uh, thank goodness for technology and practicing a skill and getting better at it, you know? I remember I used to use an app <clears throat> on my phone for making graphics and it was so difficult. They, it was very, it was kind of user-friendly, but it was, it was very, you know, detailed. And so it took forever to be able to make one single graphic. I can't even fathom how much time I wasted just making graphics. can't remember the name of my warmer, the first warmer that I ever had. Let's see, what year was it? Um, I think it was 2012. Let me see if I can Google search those. <clears throat> oh, yes. There it is, but what is it called? I'll show you guys in a sec real quick what it is. Pop, it was called Pop. Okay, so I thought I looked at that. Uh, so Pop Sensi 
plugging is what they were called. Let me stop share here. And then see if I can share it for you. All right, check that out. Right there. That was my first Scentsy warmer was this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, my second one was the Santa belt warmer. And that finally uh, gave out a couple of years ago. And uh, so I had to get a replacement warmer for that. But that one was a fun one. I actually got it at a festival of trees when we were stationed in Kansas. And I think that was the year that might've been the year Donnie was deployed. And I got the tree that I wanted. I bid on a tree and it came with the Santa belt warmer and um, the bar that was called at the time festival of trees. I think that one is now maybe very snowy spruce festival of trees. Uh, it changed names. What are our other tree names? Anyway. Um, so that's a fun memory and might even have come with like Christmas cottage and cinnamon bear. Uh, so that was my first real experience with Scentsy Warmers. And I think I got the pop one at a fest or at a fair one time, maybe an event. Because a long time ago, I used to make and sell jewelry. And so I was doing these events and um, I happened to walk by a Scentsy booth. And I was like, this is the thing I want. I want this. So that was pretty fun. Fun times. So, so if you can't think of a negative piece of advice or just a, a terrible piece of advice that somebody's ever given you then go with throwback thursday here was my first ever scentsy warmer what was your first ever scentsy product and then you can just get engagement that way um but if you can think of a piece of advice i would go with that because that <laughs> that's going to be fun to see what other people have and what they think about um and just what it kind of advice people give and like I said, I think most people are well-meaning. They're well-intended with their advice. It's just not always going to work out for you. <laughs> okay, so make sure you get your five by seven done today. Make sure you have your top three priorities written down. And if you haven't yet, do a brain dump from yesterday before you um, start to move forward today. Don't forget to make those offers and make those connections and follow up. And with that, you guys, I hope you have an amazing Thursday. Fingers crossed our air conditioning gets fixed today. It's already over 100. I love it so much, though. It's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you soon.